Hey guys, welcome back to AFK Journey. We are about a week away from the global launch and something that always happens with every game's release is re-rolling. Re-rolling is always a big thing. Now, I will have like a re-roll guide, who to re-roll for, all that stuff in future videos, but I just wanted to have a little bit of a discussion topic while we're still pretty early waiting for the global release about re-rolling in this game because I know a lot of people jump in and like some people just genuinely hate re-rolling. I normally enjoy it. I like to sort of I, I i don't know i don't even know why i enjoy re-rolling i just do but um the thing that this game does is it does a fantastic system almost to the point where you don't need to re-roll and if you're re-rolling you're being very picky and the sort of the time to value of the re-roll is probably disproportionate so that like you need to really enjoy re-rolling to do it basically what i'm trying to say with that massive mumbling of words is that Rerolling isn't really necessary in this game, and I want to go through why. Uh, and basically, when we take a look at it, now, Cecilia is probably the best early game character. She falls off later game, but in the early game, she is super fantastic because she can be a damage dealer. She summons a minion that can be a, a pseudo tank for your team. And when she summons him, he controls everyone that he hits. So she's got damage, she's got control, and she's got a pseudo tank ability in her kit, which is just, just a, a crazy character. Now, she's still great in PvP late game. She's great through the entire story but in like bossing and stuff she doesn't really work too well but she is definitely like a new player's best friend and the thing they do in this game is they do give you a, like and i've i've run up about i, I want to say but up to maybe just under 20 accounts to test this system and basically in your first 10 pool on a new account you are guaranteed to get a copy of Cecilia. You also get a copy of Lucius, and then you can get other random uh, purple heroes or elite heroes, if you will. I've never seen two epic heroes in that first 10 pool. I don't know if it's possible, but basically they guarantee you like the best early game DPS for new players, which I think is fantastic. That's in your first 10 pool. Now, expanding upon that, once you, once you have her... That's, that's a great start. Like I said, they also give you a Lucius who is a, an okay early game tank. He's not like a great tank. Like you won't be using him very long term at all. But like on day one, like he's a decent tank. Also through achievements in the game, you do get a lot of copies at Mantandra and she is also another decent tank. Uh, so you do get that. But after at 30 pulls, that is your next pity. So you get a guaranteed Cecilia copy in your first 10 pull. Then at 30 pulls, so 20 more pulls past that first one, you are guaranteed to get, and this is from my experience, a healing unit. So it's, and I've only seen the three and I don't think it can be any other ones, but it's between Rowan, who is a fantastic healer, uh, Hewan, who is another fantastic healer, and Smokey, who is another fantastic healer. Now, the thing with this is, yes, there may be one of these healers that you want more than the other. I find Smokey as a solo healer is probably the best solo healer that I use, unless you're using Rowan for more YOLO type teams where you're using him for his energy boost more than his heal. But I find in the early game, Smokey's solo capabilities to heal is great unless he can be interrupted because if he gets interrupted, he does no healing. Uh, Hewan is a fantastic secondary healer and Rowan is a fantastic healer in two healer comps as well. And basically, I, the way I see it is you do want to have at least a copy of all three of those healers on your account. So I think the fact that you guarantee what most, the, the DPS that most people would be re-rolling for everyone is guaranteed from their first 10 pool and then a healer that most people would want you are guaranteed from your 30 pool now you can re-roll if you don't get the healer that you want if you want one of the other three that is perfectly fine but like i said at the end of the day you're probably going to wish list all three of these guys until you get a copy of each of them because they are all fantastic and i sub in and out of these three healers all the time the caveat is rowan i only feel like you need one copy of yes late game end game it changes but in the early game i feel like one copy of rowan will suffice whereas dupes into the other two are quite nice so that's the only thing but like once again you get cecilia you get a healer now the cool thing is and i actually got this one so i experimented with it on the rerolls is that after that first 10 pull like i said 20 more pulls and you guaranteed a healer I actually did one roll where I got another epic hero in my second 10 pool. Uh, and the cool thing about that was 
it didn't reset the pity to 30. So in my in one account I played, I got my guaranteed Sasea on my first temple. And then in my second temple, uh, I got a copy of Granny. But then my pity was still only 10 left. So in my next temple, I got the guaranteed healer. And I can't remember which one I got. But you can actually get, and this is where people may want to hardcore reroll because you may want to reroll to get that extra epic character or something like that. But in general, like I said, getting a copy of Cecilia and a decent healer, plus they get, give you a, uh, a Lucius in your first temple as well. So you have a good basic team to get yourself started in the game. Once again, Lucius will be replaced, but he is a decent healer for day one of play. So you get that. On top of that, which I forgot to mention, in the tutorial summon, uh, you get two characters. One of which is going to be uh, Faye, who... I mean, she's going to get replaced once you do 30 pulls by one of these other healers anyway. Um, but you also get a damage dealing character. Now, the one that I saw most often was Viperion, who is great. Uh, great complementary DPS to uh, Cecilia as well. Um, I had seen on other accounts, I got a copy of her, who I don't even... Uh, Parisa, her name. Uh, but yeah, I think in the tutorial pulls, you get a copy of Faye and then a four... A, a, not a four star... Uh, an elite DPS as well. But like I said, the fact that you get Cecilia and a guaranteed epic healer in 30 pulls is fantastic and it mitigates a lot of the need to reroll. So even if you're someone who hates rerolling, you can get off to a great start. Now, the next thing that you're really going to be looking towards is trying to get the tank. And the ideal tank for me through the early game and campaign progression is a Thorin. This guy is just absolutely fantastic in the game. Uh, between his debuffs, his extra life, his damage that he can deal on retaliation he's just an absolutely fantastic unit so if i was re-rolling he's the kind of thing i'd be looking for uh, but like i said i will go more in depth into the actual re-roll guide and who to re-roll and stuff like that in a future video but i just think it's very important for people to understand when you're coming into a game especially for those that don't really want to re-roll that you actually get given a really decent start in this game uh, and that is something i was really happy when they implemented because early days um like in the early ptr server this was not the thing and once again this is this is on the PTR server, I'm assuming this will carry over to global. If it doesn't, I'll, I'll, I'll rage about it. But essentially, this is a fantastic system that they implemented to make the early game just feel a lot better. So the, the, the whole thing is they've tried to make this like, you know, a, an overworld with a story based type game. And they just go on, okay, let's just give everyone a decent start so that people don't feel that pressure to do it. Let's face it, I'm still going to reroll. <laughs> I'm, I'm pathetic. I'm going to try and get myself Thorin as well because... Like I said, I'm just pathetic. But that is me. For most people, you're going to be pretty free not to have to reroll. And you just pick up what they give you and you know you have a good formation for a team that can get you set up through your first day of play. And let's face it, in these games, you always get a good abundance of summons in the early, uh, you know, in the early few days. So you will be able to build up that roster pretty quick anyway and fill in any gaps that you do have. But that is all I wanted to talk about. Rerolling, not necessary. It's still going to be a thing. I'm still going to do it. But for those that don't want to, uh, you're not going to feel pressured into it because they give you a pretty fantastic start. But anyway, guys, that is it for this one. Like I said, we are a week away from launch. I'll start. Uh, I've got some guides already prepped uh, and I'll start rolling them out probably three to four days before the release. Uh, and there will be on a steady flow of guides and tips and stuff like that. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.